Hi, I'm Ken Rosenthal, park naturalist at Gulf Branch Nature Center. And this week's five minute find is something I found at the pet store. It wasn't something they ordered and I just happened to be there at the right time in the right place. And I wanna share that with you this morning. While I was in the pet store getting some crickets for our critters, I watched them unloading their order of uh, fish that they had just received. And there was something interesting in one of the bags with the fish that I happened to notice. And I wanna share that with you today because I got to bring it home. It's not something they sell and it's not something that they were gonna, um, that they were sure what even to do with. So it's this little guy right here. This is a water scorpion. Let's get that little one out of here and we can take a closer look. Despite the name, they are not uh, scorpions. They are insects. If you count, you'll see six legs. This at the end here is uh, a siphon or breathing apparatus. It's a breathing tube, and that's usually gonna come to the surface. Um, when they're calm and resting, they can put that at the surface to breathe. And I always like to think of these guys as kind of like um, a praying mantis of fresh water. They have these two raptorial forelimbs right here at the front, which they use to catch their prey. Look at those hooks there. That's what they use to catch their prey. They tend to like uh, slow moving water, ponds, um, pools, you know, maybe the pool in the stream, well vegetated, so they have a lot of cover to hide in. Again, very similar to a praying mantis, and they like to use um, vegetative cover to hide, and they sit and wait for their prey to come to them. Um, they are pretty good swimmers. They do have wings and they can fly, so if they're in a body of water that dries up, they can relocate to a new one. Let's take a closer look if we can. We'll focus in a little closer there. You can see those are some serious front claws, definitely used to hold on to their prey once they get them. As I mentioned, they're an ambush predator. They sit and wait under cover. Uh, they'll use these long raptorial forelimbs with those claws in and hold on their prey. There's the, the head of the water scorpion. Um, they've got a piercing beak. Once they've got their prey, they pierce it with that beak and they can inject a, um, a fluid that both sedates the prey and then also allows the digestion process to begin. And then they will essentially um, suck out their prey kind of not unlike a milkshake or a drink uh, in order to eat. Come on a little bit. You can see those long slender legs that they use. Got some hair on them there. And they use those legs to um, both swim and also grasp on the objects like underwater vegetation while they're uh, hanging out and waiting for their prey to come to them. Come all the way to the end here. And there's the siphon, which uh, inspired the, the name Scorpion. But again, they don't sting or stab or pierce or bite with it. And it's purely a breathing apparatus. So I added in some vegetation. It's fake plastic vegetation for a, an aquarium, but it'll do. You can see the water scorpion is taken right to it. Uh, it's already hiding in there. Don't quite have that uh, siphon up to the surface yet, but I'm sure it'll get there at some point. So pretty exciting. I'm going to go ahead and uh, feed it a couple of tadpoles and hopefully it'll uh, enjoy its meal. So I was pretty excited to discover this at the pet store and even more excited when I found out they don't sell them uh, and then I could bring it back to the nature center so we could keep an eye on it. So I hope uh, he or she does well. As I showed earlier, I've got a couple tadpoles in there and hopefully um, that'll be an acceptable food. Otherwise, we'll figure something else out. Um, I hope to have it around for a while so we can uh, maybe share some more pictures or videos of it later on. Hopefully it'll do well. Um, as I, as I always like to tell people, you know, nature is everywhere. It doesn't stop just because we think it should, just because we put walls up. Um, and certainly this wasn't exactly a, a nature find. Um, you can find them in our ponds here. Um, you can certainly find them in lakes around here as well. They like vegetated areas. We found them in our pond here in the nature center. Um, and they're an organism you can find on just about every continent. I, I don't know that there's one on Antarctica, 
Uh, but Australia, Asia, Europe, Africa, South and North America, you find them on all those continents, different species. Um, there's about 100 in the genus Renatra, which is what I'm pretty sure this critter is here. So uh, thanks again. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. This is one of my favorite insects. And I appreciate you uh, joining us for our five-minute finds and hope to see you at future ones. Have a great day.